Well, everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome back today on a Super Saturday. The title of this video is Work From Home Programs, What to Expect. <clears throat> now, excuse me, I'm going to put out a disclaimer on this video. Today, I'm going to be talking about um, what to expect, you know, if you're successful working from home. Whether it's an online program, an offline program, it don't matter. And I'm going to be talking about dealing with haters today. <laughs> because if anybody knows about the haters, <clears throat> you know, I've been working from home for quite some time. And yes, if you're successful, folks, <clears throat> I want you to realize this. <clears throat> Get ready to be, from the haters, um, spit upon, mocked at, ridiculed, lied about, <laughs> Um, the list goes on and on, okay? Because here's the deal, folks, okay? In light of tomorrow, which is Easter, I like to call it Resurrection Sunday, okay? Um, there was a man who walked this earth. He walked on water. He raised the dead, okay? Um, he opened blind eyes. He fed the 5,000. And these people back in Bible times seen... Jesus Christ to walk this earth do these miracles and the religious people still were stuck in their <laughs> how should I say this religious mindset or hatred mindsets or whatever so you know um I'm going to be talking today about the haters the haters the haters the haters and those that have been subscribed to my channel for some time know that there's I don't know who it is. <laughs> I might know who it is. It might be somebody I kicked out of one of my programs um, a while back. I do not know. But, you know, that person on most of my videos gives me a thumbs down on my videos. Okay? So whoever you are, if you think giving me a thumbs down on all my videos is going to pay your bills or solve your money problems or help you sleep better at night, then by all means, keep giving me a thumbs down. It don't bother me. It's not going to break my heart or my bank account. <laughs> you know, but um, I want you guys to realize if you're successful working from home um, or you're on the path <laughs> to um, being successful working from home, get ready to be hated, spit upon, ridiculed, um, the list, of, list goes on and on. So back in 2014... I stepped out of corporate America. I probably was 39 years old at that time. And I was able to uh, bring my wife home as well. Quit my job in corporate America. And I've been almost jobless for five years from corporate America. Knock on wood. Thank God. So I don't have to go to a regular JLB in corporate America no more. You know. And um, But along the way, I've took a lot of hits and bumps from people that... Um, you know, I don't know if they're jealous. I don't know if they're haters. I don't know what their issue is, you know. <laughs> People that have these um, um, mindsets that... Well, let me just tell you and be frank, okay? <laughs> so let me put out a disclaimer here. If you guys get your feelings hurt easy, or you're shy or timid, or like I said, get your feelings hurt easy, you may not want to watch this video because I'm going to share with you guys the raw truth of what I've had to go through. Okay, and I'm not saying you're going to go through this, but uh, be prepared, be prepared, be prepared, okay, for those that are haters. So, you know, I've been accused of being a career con artist. I've been accused of funding terrorism. You know, I think I might have got back in the day a message left on my voicemail. Yeah, we're going to shut down your effing scam and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Or, yeah, I'm going to report you to the Attorney General, blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> coming at me, me, Mike, who, you know, I pay my members, you know, and um, I try to operate in an honest, ethical manner, you know. And um, the latest deal coming down the pike was I had somebody reach out to me <laughs> through email, and maybe you're uh, subscribed or maybe you're watching the video, no hard, hard feelings toward, toward you, my man, or whoever you are. But this person reached out to me and he said, Mike, you, you prick. He said, where's my flyer? So maybe I, 
overlooked his email or didn't see it or respond fast enough according to his time frame. But realize, guys, you know, <laughs> um, realize there's more people reaching out to me than just you. <laughs> you know, when my phone blows up or I'm returning emails or I'm on the phone or returning text messages, hey, guys, give me at least 24 to 48 hours to return your phone call, your text, or your email. You know, because... Um, it's not just you reaching out to me. And if you people don't have the patience to wait a few days for me to return their phone call or their text message or their email or whatever, <laughs> you know, um, please don't reach out. I mean, I got better things to do than deal with people that are haters, people that are jealous, people that say, you know, you're a scam, you're a effing this, you're a effing that. Folks, <laughs> I'm a believer that you reap what you sow in life, okay? As a man sows, so shall he reap. So if you think being a hater is going to get you anywhere in life or being jealous of somebody that you see out there on the internet that's successful or someone offline that's successful, folks, we need to check up from the neck up and get our head right and also get our heart right, okay? I'm not jealous of anybody. In fact, I am glad when people are successful. But there'll be other people that'll reach out to me. Or, you know, back when YouTube used to let people post comments on people's videos. And, you know, I would get stuff either through YouTube or through um, my email or phone conversation. You know, my dad's been dead 10 years. Take me off your list. <laughs> or don't call this number. Don't mail to me again. Don't blah, 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 blah. Just people just being outright rude and mean and crude. And folks, you know, do you guys really think people that are operating in that mindset or have that, you know, type of heart going on that they're really even making any money or going anywhere in life you see um so i'm just telling you um if you're successful from home or on the track or on the right path to becoming successful working from home it don't matter if you're part-time full-time anytime it don't matter folks if you're putting yourself out there your voice and your face i'm just going to tell you right now Prepare to be spit on. Prepare to be spit on. Prepare to be slapped in the face. You know, when Christ was on this earth, he stood before the high priest. He was slapped in the face. You know, they probably beat him. They probably spit on him. They probably mocked him. And the man never did, any, did anything that was sinful on this earth. So what I'm telling you is this, in light of tomorrow, Resurrection Sunday, he is risen indeed. And I am not ashamed to get in front of this camera and talk about this, my belief. Everybody's entitled to your, their own belief. If you don't believe what I believe, that's your protocol, you're entitled to your opinion. But this man walked on a lot to raise the dead, okay? Open blind eyes, healed people, right? And them religious, what do I call them? Haters. The Bible says they hated them without a cause. So if you think being a hater is going to get you anywhere in life, keep on hating, okay? Keep on hating, okay? And let those that are successful keep on being successful, okay? <laughs> because I believe you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. If you're going to come against somebody, and I, I've seen this on the internet, guys, and it's sad. I see this dude who is successful out there, and then I'll see videos of him maybe putting down programs or, you know, people, and I don't want to step on the wrong, you know, go on the wrong ground here, you know.
but he's entitled to his opinion. He's very successful. And then I see other people, you know, throwing stones at him and them going back and forth like these little two-year-old babies on their videos like this, throwing stones at each other or their opinions. <laughs> and we're supposed to be adults. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Do I don't have time. I have a wife. And between me and my wife, we have five kids. You know, you think I have time to return emails from hater, all you haters out there that are saying, F you, Mike. You know, you're a freaking scam. You're this, you're that. Hey, Mike, you little prick. You're blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> whatever. So, you know, you know, all I got to do is block them. Block them, block them, block them. When they email me, just block them. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Or when they text me and throw their, spew their puke on me or want to blame me why they're not making money. <laughs> they want to blame me. Hey, Mike, when am I going to make money? Well, I don't know. Ask the people that are responding to your marketing when they're going to join so you're going to make money. I'm not holding you back from making money. My programs aren't holding anybody back from making money. It's the people you're marketing to that haven't joined yet that are holding you back from making money. Okay? So I want to tell you this. <laughs> um, if you're successful working from home, or if you're in some work-from-home program, or if you're looking at different work-at-home programs out there to make extra money working from home, if you're successful or you're on the road to be successful, get ready to be hated. Get ready to be hated, I'm telling you right now, okay? Um, because you ask anybody that's been a success. You ask Bill Gates before he was popular. You ask Donald Trump before he became popular and made millions or billions or whatever. Ask Abraham Lincoln. He failed how many times before he became a president? You don't think people rose up against these men or women? Ask Oprah Winfrey. Ask Oprah Winfrey before she became a success and made her millions. If people didn't come against her and not try to knock her down or, you know, spit in their face, these people that have been successful... You know, Bill Gates, I believe, didn't he drop out of college and pursue his dream? You know, you don't think people rose up against them and said, ah, ah that's not, what you're doing ain't going to work. You know, all the haters out there that don't believe in your dreams, you know, that are negative, that try to put people down, that try to say, oh, you're a scam artist, this, that, everything else. Hey. I'll never hold it against anybody for trying to better themselves in life. So why should you, if you're a hater out there watching this video, try to knock people down, okay? And try to drag them down just because you ain't going nowhere in life or are jealous of other people out there making money and you're not. You really think you're going to get anywhere being a hater? Folks, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, be prepared to be spit on. Be prepared to be slapped in the face, knocked down. If you're successful on the internet, off the internet, or working from home. Jesus Christ walked this earth in light of tomorrow being Easter, Resurrection Sunday. The man never sinned. And you see how he was treated. Hung him on a cross, whipped him, sliced his back open crucified him. And what did he say on the cross? He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. All you haters out there, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. You know, that's the deal. So in light of all the haters out there, and if there's any haters going to watch this video, Get your head on straight and stop being a hater. You know, stop being a hater. It's not going to get you anywhere. Save yourself some pain. Stop being jealous of people that are making money on the internet. Stop, you know, how can I say this? You know, stop coming against people to drag them down. 
put out negative press about pe people that are successful because you're jealous. You know, here's the deal. If you look out on the internet and see all the reviews out there on people and programs, and you see a negative review, let me ask you this. Do you guys believe everything people put on the internet is true? Don't believe those negative reports. They could be lying. They could be lying. Just because they're not registered with the, uh, the Better Business Bureau or some people puts out a negative report saying, I've been scammed in this program, that program, by this person, that person. Don't believe that hype. Don't believe that stupidity. Don't believe what people are saying on the internet on reviews until you check with the person behind the program or with that program to see if what people are putting out on that program or person is true. Reach out to the person that's getting the negative report and there's probably a negative report, probably multiple reports out there on my programs that say <clears throat> my program is bad or I'm bad or whatever. Folks, if you want to believe that nonsense, if you want to believe the lies people are putting out there on the internet, go ahead. Believe lies. But my uh, recommendation is to you is to reach out to the person or program or company out there that's getting the bad rap and say, hey, I found this program out there about your company or about you. Is it true? Is it true? Always go to the person that's getting the bad rap and... Um, Ask that person, is this true about you? And get the facts from the person getting the negative report or the company getting a negative report or the program getting a negative report. Always reach out to the person behind the program, you know, or with the company to, to find out the truth, guys. Because just because a person's mad because they join a program and they don't make money, just because a person doesn't make money with whatever program is out there don't mean the program is a scam. Maybe they didn't follow through with the marketing. Maybe they joined a program and didn't even do anything and they want to blame the program or person behind the program for them making money when they didn't follow through on the marketing. Market to the right people. Use the right marketing method. Didn't follow up with the people. You know, close them because they just wanted to throw money into something, do nothing. And now they're not getting results because their own lack of marketing skills. And now they want to blame the person behind the program or the program, say it's a scam because they didn't make money. Let me clarify for something for you, for all you haters out there. Just because you join a program and you don't make money, that don't mean the program, company, or person you joined is a scam artist or a scam. You need to learn to market and advertise on your own instead of relying on someone else to write your paycheck for you, baby. And if you're not willing to stand on your own two feet and be an adult and, you know, realize that you say... I've been scammed. I've been scammed. I've been scammed. Everything I joined is a scam. Oh, really? Did someone force you to participate in the program you're in right now or the things you failed in in the past? No. You willfully pulled out money out of your own pocket and took the risk on your own. So don't blame someone else, another person, another program for you joining something because you willfully pulled the money out of your own pocket and took the risk and joined whatever program you joined. Okay, you willfully forked out the money. Nobody forced you to. Nobody strapped the lasso around your neck and forced you to do it. By your own free will, you invested the money. So take your responsibility as an adult for the choices that you've made, for the programs you've been in the past. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming programs for the lack of results you've gotten today or in the past or programs you've failed with. I want to share something with you guys about my programs when people tell me I've joined this, 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 and I haven't made any money, well, let me ask you a question. What has my programs got to do with anything else you've participated with and failed in? Nothing. So why are you spilling um, your guts to me or anybody else that's successful online or offline about programs you've been in the past that you've failed with if the program you're looking at joining right now in 2019 and beyond, if it doesn't have anything to do with the program you're looking or considering joining, there's no reason to bring up your past failures, folks, if you're looking at joining something. You know, quit. people need to quit crying about spilled milk and get over the past, quit living in the past, you know, get their head out of the sand <laughs> and be focused and positive, not negative, right? And move forward in life instead of living in the past and being negative and being a hater.
So today I wanted to come to you guys and talk about talk about what to expect if you're successful online, offline, you know, um, and give you guys a heads up what to expect, you know. Um, I pay my members. You know, if you're due commission, I'll pay you. Why would I hold money back from you? I want you to make as much money as possible so you keep promoting and keep being successful and keep getting money coming to you. I want you guys to be successful, but remember this. Remember this. If you don't reach out to me for help, I don't know you need help. If you don't call me, if you don't text me, if you don't email me, if you don't Facebook message me, how do I know you need help if you don't reach out for help? If you're at sea, you fall off a ship and you can't swim and you're drowning, wouldn't you yell for someone on the ship, hey, throw me a life preserver. I don't know how to swim. Up, swim. I'm going to drown. If you don't reach out and tell me you need help, you're drowning at sea and you need help, how am I going to throw you a life preserver out to sea if I don't know you need help? So the thing is this, folks. Don't be afraid to reach out to me. I'm not going to bite your head off. Some people out there may think, yeah, Mike's mean. Mike's obnoxious. I'm not going to reach out to Mike. He's mean. He's not going to return my emails or phone calls. or Why wouldn't I? If you need help, reach out for help. I'm not going to bite your head off. I'll commend you for at least reaching out to try to get help for me, for my programs, for what I do, you know, and what you're in with me. But you got to realize, guys, I probably got over a thousand people in one program that I started back in 2013. And gosh, in 2016, I probably got over 300 or 400 people in my second program I put together. And then in 2017, I put together another program, offline for our flyer program. I probably got over, let me see here, probably over 600 people in that program. And I now got a postage and profits program, something to save you guys money in postage and collect some cash. And you know, I'm in other things as well. A cash program, Simple Leverage Worldwide, GDI, a network marketing company. So I can't reach out to everybody all at once. You know, so the thing is this guys, the thing is this, if you do reach out to me, call me, text me, email me, I'm okay responding as long as you're not gonna throw hate. If you're gonna throw hate and stones and you wanna throw tomatoes at me, and ridicule me and put me down or anybody else on the internet that is honest, ethical, okay? Operating right, has the right heart, you know, and wants to help people. Then if you're going to be a hater, then there's no need to reach out to me or request information about anything, okay? Because I won't respond. I'll just delete you, block you from my email. I'll just block you from texting me because I got better things to do, folks, than putting up with drama of haters. So I wanna, you know, come to you on this video today and tell you guys what to expect working uh, uh, working from home if you're looking at work from home programs, what to expect from the haters if you're successful or if you're on the right track, you know, um, being successful or, or making a lot of money. You know, if you're making a lot of money on the internet and people see that, be prepared to be hated, spit upon, ridiculed. Just like when Jesus Christ walked this earth and was ridiculed, spit upon, beaten, you know, whipped. See what I'm saying, folks? Hung on a cross, you know, crucified by the haters. So what I'm telling you guys is this. Don't be a hater. It's not going to solve your money problems or pay your bills. How's it going to help you sleep better at night being a hater? I believe you reap what you sow if you're hating on people and you're spreading lies about people and, um, you know, putting out bad press and um, just coming against people to bring them down, tear them down, or you want them to fail. And um, you're doing stuff out there to come against people to put them down or bring them down. Be prepared to be brought down yourself. In some way, shape, or form, you don't want that arrow coming back on you into your life.
Okay, what I'm saying, guys, listen to me. Listen to me. You know, I've had people try to come against me, come against me, come against me. And I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not better than anybody else. I'm not. I don't consider myself better than someone else. You know what I'm saying? But do yourself a favor, guys. If you're hating, playing the hate game, you know what I'm saying? Um, stop hating. And if you want to be a hater, keep on being a hater. And let the winners keep on winning. Okay? So Mike here, hope you've liked the video. Subscribe, hit my red subscribe tab down below. Wanted to do a different kind of video today and express this. There goes my cell phone, just ignore that. <laughs> um, it's definitely something to think about. You know, you reap what you sow in life. That's my opinion. So as a man sows, so shall he reap. So folks, you don't want negative bad things coming upon you. You don't want a curse on your finances, do you? Then stop hating on people that are successful financially out there. And stay positive. Stay motivated. Stay on the right path, folks. Don't be jealous of people that are successful on the internet or offline. Okay? Don't be hating on people. Don't be putting out videos that are negative. Negative, negative. There's a video probably still out there by somebody in one of my programs that put my program down or put me down. It's not the way to do it, folks. It's not. Okay? So it's Mike here. Give some serious consideration to the words I've shared with you guys today. You know, stop being haters. It's not going to solve anything. What's it going to solve? That, you think it's going to pay your bills or solve your money problems being a hater or help you sleep better at night? How? How? <laughs> so I wanted to put out this video today. And some people may love me. Some people may hate me. It is what it is. I can't control what other people, the choices other people make. But yeah, I've been ridiculed. I've been, you know... <laughs> Criticize that I guess that's the word I want to say. Um, yeah, just because you join a program, that's not going to be guaranteed you're going to make money unless you do something with it. You know what I'm saying? So here's the deal, folks. If you're going to join a work at home program, don't just join it and throw money into it and do nothing. Join a program and learn how to market and advertise it properly so you can be successful in whatever you participate in. Don't rely on other people to write your own paycheck. You've got to learn to market and advertise on your own instead of being waiting for to join somebody and want them to do everything for you. We're all adults here, right? So if you don't know how to market, learn how to market. Either through joining me or joining somebody else out there, you know. And yes, you need to be careful. Yes, there probably is people out there that want to rip people off, scam people. I get so many people reaching out to me on Facebook with these profiles and I either delete them or block them. Reaching out to me with these profiles of women, you know, and <laughs> I don't fall for that jazz. I don't fall for it, you know. I don't join all the newest shiny objects coming down the pike. You know, a hot program out there now is 30-Day Success Formula. Folks, it's been around for a while. Did you guys know that? Um, it might have been um, originally started as an offline program. But I don't jump on everything that's a new shiny object. Because I know just because the program's new and you join a guru with a hot new program, that don't mean you're going to be successful if you don't know how to market it and advertise like that person. So the thing is this, folks. Um, yes, do your research. Be careful who you partner with. You want to partner with someone that's real, honest, and ethical. Um, you want to partner with a program that's going to pay you on time every time. Um, I'll give you a, an example. I'm with a network marketing company called Global Domains International. They've been around since 1999. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Every single month, they pay me on time, every time. And I don't have to worry about the company shutting down. See, they're the real deal. You're going to want to partner with someone that's real. 
someone that you can get your questions answered from and get an answer from instead of joining someone that's going to just take your money, run, and you never hear from them again. Okay? So yes, um, it's Mike here. You need to be careful. You need to do your research. But I wanted to come to you on this video today and tell you what to expect. What to expect, baby. If you are successful or on the road to success, or if you're looking at work from home programs and you become successful working from home. Did they not ridicule and mock Jesus? Did they not spit upon him, slap him in the face, and the man never sinned? Be prepared to be spit on, ridiculed, mocked. Get ready for the haters to come after you if you're successful. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. This is what the world is at right now, folks. This is where the world is. You know what I'm saying? So don't be a hater. If you are a hater, get your head right, get your heart right. And start getting positive and start lifting people up instead of tearing people down. It's Mike here. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit that red subscribe tab so you can get all my updates, training, mentorship. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday. Remember, it's Resurrection Sunday. He is risen indeed. Okay? And Jesus is the answer for you. Get your head right and your heart right with him. Um, we'll see you on the next video and hopefully on the road to success. Peace, God bless. I'm out here on a super Saturday. And bye for now.